Question. How many people does it take to turn on a light bulb? The answer seems simple. Just walk into a dark room, flip the switch and instantly you can see. Well, have you ever considered where the source of the energy comes from? And is it actually harming the environment? Greetings everyone, my name is Shavardo Lindo and my group member is Tashana Hewitt and we will be presenting on renewable sources of energy. Here is a short video presentation explaining the different forms of energy. Energy consumption is a huge part of our daily lives. We eat with energy. We travel with energy. We work with energy. And we even flirt with energy. But where does all of this energy come from? Today we gather most of our energy from coal, oil and natural gas, also known as fossil fuels. Additionally, we gather energy from biomass, nuclear and renewables. Fossil fuels consist of extracted decomposed organisms and plants that existed millions of years ago. Biomass converts plants into biometric material to produce energy. Nuclear energy is released. Lastly, renewable energy comes from a source that's not depleted when used, such as wind or solar power. But what's the profound difference between them? How they affect our planet? Fossil fuels cost more than what we pay at the pump and impacts our environment in many ways. These impacts include global warming, air quality deterioration, oil spills and acid rain. It's also projected that fossil fuel resources will be depleted within the next 50 to 100 years. Biomass and nuclear energy also have similar issues. We need a solution relatively fast, and luckily, we have one. Renewable energy comes from resources which naturally replenish in our lifetime, whereas fossil fuels are a one-time use resource in the human timescale. Resources for renewable energy include sunlight, wind, rain, tides, waves and geothermal heat. The best part is that we don't need to compromise our planet to harness it, nor do we have to rely on other nations for these resources, which history has shown to be a contributor to war, famine and political instability. So, how do we get this to look like this? Presently we have the technology to be 100% renewable reliant. All right, let's go see what the general public has to say about renewable sources of energy. What is renewable energy? Renewable energy refers to that form of energy which replenishes itself. For instance, solar energy. From the sun, we are provided with an endless source of solar energy that doesn't deplenish upon usage. All right, thank you. All right, good day. Um, what is renewable energy? So renewable energy is resources that can be reused from the original energy, like for example. Um... What is renewable energy? Well, renewable energy is like where the sources of this energy it can be replenished within a human's natural lifespan. Okay. That's it? Alright, thank you. Based on the responses, little information is known about renewable energy. It's therefore important for us to keep them aware of what renewable energy is. Alright, here's a small presentation about renewable energy. Alright, what? let's talk about what is renewable energy. Renewable energy is energy produced from sources that do not deplete or can be replenished within a human's lifetime. Renewable energy sources can include solar, wind power, hydroelectric power, biomass, and geothermal power. Solar energy utilizes energy from the sun. Wind power utilizes the wind to create energy. Hydropower relies on the flow of water to produce energy. Biomass involves utilizing organic material that comes from plants and animals to produce energy, and geothermal energy utilizes the Earth's internal heat. All right, now renewable energy sources are not completely environmentally friendly. 
However, the impact on the environment is low when compared to fossil fuels. Fossil fuels tend to produce great amounts of carbon dioxide, therefore contributing to global warming. Renewable energy, on the other hand, typically emits carbon dioxide less when compared to fossil fuels. In fact, renewables like solar and wind power, apart from construction and maintenance, do not emit any carbon dioxide at all. Fossil fuels stocks are limited and non-renewable in the human timescale. The most known examples of these resources are coal, oil, or natural gas. It is therefore important to utilize renewable energy sources because of its renewable nature. Development and renewable energy. Renewable energy sources are also very important for sustainable development, especially for a developing country such as Jamaica. Using renewable sources of energy will result in great benefits, such as limited use of fossil fuel resources, therefore reducing the negative impacts on the environment and low prices when compared to fossil fuel prices. Less po political disputes over energy will be essential for sustainable development of any country. Now, Jamaica currently produces sugar by growing sugarcane and producing the juice in the sugar factory to produce sugar crystal. The trash of the sugar cane, however, is not utilized currently by the sugar factories in Jamaica properly because the sugar, chain, sugar cane trash can be used to produce electrical energy. And we're gonna go through that in a minute. So stay tuned. Sugar cane trash is burnt in a vessel and used to boil water, which produces steam, which powers a turbine and produces electricity. That steam turns propeller-like blades around the rotor inside the turbine. The turning rotor connects to a main shaft, which spins magnets with a coil inside a generator. It's the generator inside the turbine that converts the mechanical energy into electrical energy and creates electricity. The steam can be reused and recycled as it converts from liquid to gas. We wanted to take the class to see the process. However, because of the COVID-19 virus, we postponed. All right, let's go over to Miss Hewitt as she demonstrates what would have happened in class for our activity if we were there. Hello, good morning. Welcome to Environmental Education. For today's activity, we will be playing a game called Blackboard Rush, or more commonly known as Run to the Board. The game is very simple. You will be divided into two teams. Questions will be posted. The objective of the game is speed and accuracy. The team that completes the question accurately in the shortest space of time wins. Now, divide yourselves into two teams. Team A. Team B. Wonderful. Now, I'll issue the questions accordingly. All right, team, ready, go. What is renewable energy? That is correct. 
Team A response says, Renewable energies or renewables are ways to generate energy from theoretically unlimited natural resources. These resources are either available with no time limit or replenish more quickly than the rate at which they are consumed. Why should we use renewable energy? That is correct. Team B response says, the fossil fuel stocks are limited and non-renewable in the human time scale. The most known examples of these resources are coal, oil, or natural gas. Renewable energies are produced from renewable sources. Does renewable energy production harm the environment? That is correct. Team A response says, Renewable energies are also often referred to as green energies or clean energies. Still, this does not mean that these energies aren't harmful to the environment and have zero impact. They, however, have a low environmental impact compared to fossil fuels. Why is renewable energy important for sustainable development? That is correct. Team B response says, a series of various factors such as limitation of fossil fuel resources, negative impacts on the environment, fossil fuel prices, political disputes, and their effect on supplying sustainable energy. What are some examples of renewable sources of energy? That is correct. Team A response says, Solar, wind power, hydroelectric power, biomass, geothermal power, All right, that was a wonderful game. The final scores are Team A on three and Team B on two. Great. Now that you have seen a simulated version of the activity you would have participated in if we were face to face, it's time to show you our second activity we would have set up in class for volunteers to be a part of. This activity would be used as an educational demonstration on how energy can be generated and how much energy is used to power just a single light bulb in human terms. But because we are not face-to-face, -face, here's a video from the physics department that demonstrates what we would have done in class.
right, we've reached the end of our presentation. Thanks to our teacher, Mr. Isan, and to you, members of the class, for watching. We have two questions at the end of our presentation. We look forward to your responses. You have a good day.